Okay, Ted, what's the problem? Hello, Betty. What's the problem? I haven't got a problem. I've got fucking problems. Plural. Wanna hear? Workers at Japan's damaged nuclear plant have detected unusually high levels of radioactive substances off the coast of the facility. Plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company isn't ruling out the possibility that contaminated groundwater is seeping into the sea. TEPCO workers tested samples from a port near Fukushima Daiichi. They found the water contained 10 times more radioactive tritium than previous samples. But they said the figure is still less than 1 50th of the government set safety limit. Workers found tritium and strontium exceeding the safety level earlier this month in water drawn from a well near one of the plant's reactors. TEPCO managers say they'll re-examine the data from the sea and well water. They hope to determine whether polluted groundwater is reaching the ocean. They say if that's happening, they'll use chemicals to reinforce the ground and stop the seepage.
Now, a Japanese government white paper says many hospitals and welfare facilities need help with contingency planning. That's to remain operational should disaster strike. The 2011 earthquake and tsunami taught Japanese service providers the importance of post-disaster business continuity plans, or BCPs. This year's anti-disaster white paper features the results of a survey by the Cabinet Office. More than 2,100 providers of lifeline services responded. The results show that two-thirds of electric power firms and about 40 percent of gas companies, telecom firms and broadcasters had contingency plans. But only 7 percent of medical institutions and 5 percent of welfare facilities had drawn up such a plan. Operators said they lacked the necessary know-how and personnel to create contingency plans. The White Paper says government support is crucial in assisting them with the task. The Japanese government is famously saddled with huge debt. In fact, the debt of ratio to GDP is the worst among industrialized nations. But now government officials are taking some concrete steps to cut it down. The government's Council on Economic and Fiscal Policy started drafting a medium-term plan to put the country's fiscal house in order. Members are hoping to finalize the plan in early August. The blueprint will lay out specific steps to achieve fiscal goals that the government announced earlier this month. One of these goals is to slash the primary balance deficit by half by fiscal 2015. The plan sets up spending caps through fiscal 2015. The government has been spending far more than it has received in tax revenues to carry out its policies. And the Social Security costs are expected to grow by about 1 trillion yen, or $10 billion each year, as Japan's population continues to age. Some government officials are calling for stepped-up spending to cover these costs, even after the planned consumption tax hike goes into effect next year. The government is facing the challenge of crafting a credible plan that will set numerical targets to reduce its spending. This comes at a time when expenditures are expected to rise. Now, leaders of the Group of Eight Nations urged Japan to regain its fiscal health at a summit that they held last week.